We are here today at Saratoga Springs to check out the newly refurbished two bedroom villa. It looks amazing, they're bigger and better and we're so excited to show these to you guys. Yeah, and when she says they made them bigger, she doesn't mean they actually physically made them bigger. But what they did was they increased the sleeping capacity by adding another bed. So these rooms now sleep nine instead of eight, which can be a big deal for some families. Now we're here in Congress Park, which is the preferred building section of Saratoga Springs. They are working on these buildings first and going through them. And then when they're done, the plan is currently, subject to change, going to be to go to the next preferred set of buildings and move through there. So all the preferred buildings will be done first and then the standard building. So if you're looking to get a refurbished room, make sure you book a preferred category and then put in your request for a refurbished room. But remember, requests are only requests and they are not guaranteed at all. So be kind if you don't get what you requested. It is just a request and there's only so many of these rooms to go around. That's right. But again, if you get one, be very grateful because they look amazing and we're so excited to show it to you guys. So let's check it out. Okay, so when we first come in, we do have a little table here in the entryway and a mirror above that and to our right is going to be the second bedroom and let's go ahead and start off in there so since this is a two bedroom we've got the full bedroom over here uh, besides the master and this has a pretty big closet over here there uh, is a hanging rod and a shelf up there as well as looks like this is where your high chair and your vacuum cleaner are stored for those of you who love vacuuming on vacation you know it's in there and then on the wall we've got this really awesome coat rack which is hung up by leather straps it's actually anchored to the wall but it looks like it's hung by leather straps and that's really cool looking i love how they've kind of incorporated the horse uh, theme a little bit more in these new rooms it's really really awesome now coming into the second bedroom here we have uh, a closet over here on our left. So we have two closets here in this bedroom. One is a huge, and step back so you can see it, huge closet with a lot of storage space. And the other one's actually a pretty good size as well. So you've got, of course, your closet rod with the hangers and all your extra pillows and blankets, but definitely plenty of storage space here in the second bedroom. Now your bathroom has a double vanity, which makes sense because you can sleep up to four people here in this room. And this double vanity has a pretty large countertop space as well as a drawer down below that you can store things in and a little shelf at the bottom. So a lot of space to kind of spread out and set everything up while you're here. And then you have this big mirror kind of going all the way across. And I love that they even did the mirror hanging from little hooks like that. It is not, uh, I'm sure it's actually anchored to the wall, but it looks like it's being hung. It just looks like something you'd see in a barn or uh, something like that. So it's kind of cool the way they went with the theming of all the fixtures and stuff here. Inside this door, we've got our bathroom here. Of course, there is also the master, but this is the one for this second bedroom. You've got your toilet in here and your towels, and then you have a tub in this room, whereas the other one only has the walk-in shower. And you've got the sliding glass doors instead of the curtain. And then we have our, looks like refillable soap and shampoo there. And a detachable shower head as well as the rainfall shower head up above. So really nice new showers in here with the sliding glass doors. And we love that they're switching over to those. It just feels so much cleaner than the ones with the shower curtains. Then in the bedroom here, it looks like we've got a little chair, uh, just like the one in the master. We have a lamp and then a very large dresser with six huge, huge drawers on it. Uh, and then on either side of that dresser, you've got a couple outlets and USB plugs. So they do have plenty of outlets and plugs for your devices throughout these rooms uh, on the dressers and then also on the lamps as well. This room does have two queen size beds and each of those beds are raised up off the ground so you can store your luggage up underneath the bed. You have space for that and they've switched over to that in all the beds here, which is excellent because it gives you more than enough room to store your luggage and keep from having it spread all over the room and kind of taking up all your walking space. The pictures on the wall looks like we've got a blue ribbon or what we assume to be a blue ribbon since it's a silhouette. We've got this really awesome hat with Mickey ears on it. And of course that's a riding hat and I don't know the official name, so I'm sorry for all of you out there who uh, our equestrians, but this is a really awesome little hat. And then uh, you have a silhouette of a horse, which someone told me might be Old Mo, where we'll see a reference uh, to that in the other room in just a minute, but I'm not sure. So if you know that's who that is, be sure to let me know. 
Here on the nightstand, we've got a couple little drawers as well as our uh, USB plugs and outlets there. So we have some where to plug up our devices by the bed. Interestingly, in this room, there is no end table on either side of the beds. So just the one in the middle there. But as I said, you do have those plugs on the main dresser. This bedroom does not have a balcony or patio. It's just the windows looking out and that's it. So we'll head into the living room and show you that area. And then we'll head over to the master to wrap this up. On the wall, we've got a brand new painting here of a couple horses who are making eyes at each other through their hats with eyes. And as someone who loves hats a lot, um, I'm not sure I'd wear a hat that had eyeballs, especially if they actually like looked at things when you walked around. But here in this creepy eyeball hat picture, we do have one of our few hidden Mickeys here in the room. So we love seeing the little hidden Mickey there in the painting, uh, always on the lookout for those when we're here in these rooms. Now the dining room area, we've got a pretty good sized dining room table here, similar to the one they had, but they've changed the shape and kind of the footprint as far as the bottom of it. They've added a couple chairs here, uh, and it is nice that they have these handles on the chairs to grab them and pull them back. A lot of these new rooms have those. And then you've got the bench you can sit on as well. Behind that, you've got your kind of honeycomb looking uh, mirror assortment, which is really fun. And then your chandelier is actually held up by uh, these leather straps, which looks really cool. Uh, you take a look at the leather straps holding it all together, kind of awesome, and uh, fits with that horse theme that they're going for here. Our kitchen is a full kitchen. We've got a sink and a dishwasher in here. We've got a full-size fridge and freezer, a microwave, a stove, an oven. We've got a toaster over there. We have all the dishes and pots and pans and stuff up in the cabinets. So we have dishes there, uh, glasses. We have mugs and plates. There's pots and pans down below the oven. We've got measuring cups and storage containers, things like that. So everything you need for eating and cooking while you're here on vacation. And then you also have the other vital necessity when you are here, and that is a coffee maker, full-size coffee maker there with some coffee and cream and things like that. So full kitchen here with everything you could need for staying for a while. Then in the living room, we have a pull-down Murphy bed. This is no longer a pull-out couch. It is just pulled down. And the cool thing about this is you don't have to take all the cushions off whenever you are pulling it down. You can just grab and pull. So we need to move the coffee table here, which actually is uh, storage. If I grab the right side here, there it is. It's actually this really cool storage container. Look at that, like raises up. And I guess you could use it as a table to eat on as well. So kind of double purpose there, but you have to take that and move it out of the way for the bed to come down. And then we're going to also move the ottoman because as you can see, the bed is actually above those two couch cushions and not the one to the left. So we're just gonna push the ottoman over out of the way towards the door there and grab these pillows. And we can just pull the bed down by grabbing these handles on either side and pulling. And as you can see, the couch starts to fold up on itself as you pull down. And that is your full queen size mattress there. It is, as you can see, it's actually a real mattress. It's not just the foam mattresses they used to have. So you get a full mattress on there. And up behind it, we have this really cute picture of this little house in New York where uh, you've got Mickey and Minnie relaxing in the shade with Pluto taking a nap. Donald and Daisy are hanging out on the porch. And then Goofy is bird watching while well, the bird is goofy watching. So yeah, that's kind of adorable. So we've got uh, that fun little painting up there behind the bed. And then to the left of the bed, we have our trophy that I mentioned, Old Mo. There is Old Mo and the trophy uh, has little hidden Mickeys on either side. If you look at the handles, you can see those. So that's a really fun nod. And thank you to those of you who informed me about Old Mo. Another thing to note is the Mickey statue up here that I think everyone would love to have if you like to golf. It's Mickey and he's out here golfing at Saratoga Springs. I did check the patterns on his pants and stuff and thought, oh, there'll be a little hidden Mickey on there. There's not, but we did look. And then uh, it's got the Saratoga Springs logo on it, so that's kind of cool. And then the pillows that they had on the couch, which I pulled off to pull on the bed, 
have little hidden Mickeys on them as well. Check that out, look right there, there's a couple different ones. So that's some other, more fun little Easter eggs they put in here for us. Now this room did not used to have another bed, it used to just be the eight people could sleep in a two bedroom, but with the addition of this pull down bed in the one bedrooms, they also decided to add it to the two bedrooms. So now a two bedroom villa here can sleep nine people. And if I pull this down, you can see, Real quick, we've got the uh, outlets on either side of that as well. Pull this down, you'll be able to see we have a twin size bed. So definitely not a bed for an adult. Um, it is a little bit shorter than your regular twin bed, but you can easily put a child or even a teenager on there and be fine. So you can add a ninth person here in this room. And I love that picture of Goofy back there. Like I feel like Goofy doesn't get enough love and I'm glad that he is on the back of this one because that's kind of awesome. Really pretty picture of the sunrise slash sunset there in the mountains too. So with that pulled down and the bed pulled out, you can see we lose a little bit of space in here, but it's really not that bad. Uh, you still got a lot of room in here, especially considering you have the other bedroom and the extra closet space as well. So uh, not too bad and I wouldn't mind having nine people in here. I think it'd be just fine. Now we have a patio off of this living room area right here. We do not have a balcony because we're on the ground floor, but if you were on a higher floor, you would have a balcony. And then let's see this. And you can see we've got a patio out here with a couple chairs and a little table, and the balconies are all about the same size as this. And then we have actually a kind of pretty view of the garden area right here. And then there's the pool for Congress Park right over there. So obviously you don't get to choose your view when you're here at Saratoga Springs, you just choose your building, but that is uh, what you'll get with the patio or the balcony in the room. Now heading over to check out the master, we're gonna take a quick stop and show you guys the in-room washer and dryer that they have. It is here to the left of the bathroom. And in this little closet, we've got a brand new washer and dryer stackable unit in there. So really nice uh, washer dryer there. And then the bathroom is two parts. It is the master and this other half that is kind of the public shared bathroom space. You've got a walk-in shower in here that is rather large. Open this up and you can see there is actually a really good size walk-in shower. And they do again have those refillable uh, soap and shampoo and conditioner there. And we have the detachable shower head as well as the rainfall shower head in here. So same fixtures and everything as the tub in the second bathroom, but this one is the giant walk-in shower. And then we have a single vanity over beside the shower and that has a couple shelves down below for storage, but not a lot of counter space here. Um, but I think you can probably use the uh, master and the other bathroom as well if you need more space to kind of spread out. And then this room here is the room that has the toilet in it. You got your toilet in there and your totally necessary gold plated leaves because Saratoga Springs is known for their gold plated leaves, I guess, maybe? I don't know, no idea. It seems kind of random to me, but maybe. And then the back side of this bathroom, there is a second door, and this is what leads us through to the master. So heading through in here, we have the master bathroom, and the master bathroom does have a giant soaking tub. It is no longer a jacuzzi tub. They don't have jets or anything. It is just a big soaking tub, and they have also removed those shutters that allowed you to peek through into the bedroom or watch TV while you're there. Mostly probably because people didn't know what they were for, I imagine. Seemed a little weird to me, but whatever. And then we have a very, very large single vanity here with a lot of counter space on it. We've got a couple drawers down below and some shelves. Your laundry basket is in here. They got that cool collapsible laundry basket. And then um, you have a gigantic mirror that is backlit. You've got this backlighting all the way around, which is kind of cool when you turn off the overhead lights up there. You just have that backlighting, it looks pretty cool. And then we do have a closet here in the bedroom. It's not as big as the giant one in the second bedroom, but it is a closet with a shelf and some hangers. Uh, you've got your iron and ironing board in here, and you also have your pack and play, but still a little bit of space. You could definitely put some suitcases in there if you needed to. And then in the master, we have our 
king size master bed that just like the other beds is raised off the ground so you can store your luggage underneath. And then on either side, we have a nightstand that has one of these cool looking lamps that looks like it's made out of kind of gold plated sticks. And then they have a couple USB outlets and wall outlets on those lamp bases. So you have those available. And then above the bed, we have this kind of Pinterest looking collection of pictures. And these are pictures from Saratoga Springs with our Disney characters kind of put in there on top of the actual picture. So it's a real picture, animated people. It's really fun. Goofy taking a nap, Minnie and Mickey racing. We've got Donald and Daisy over there and Pluto. And it's just really, really cool uh, having those there. I like those type of pictures. I think they're pretty awesome. We've got a big dresser over here with six drawers as well as a thing in the middle that has some shelves in it. And then on either side of this dresser, we also have some USB outlets and wall outlets. So lots of places in here to plug things up, which is really nice. And then on the far side of the room, we have our uh, chair, just like in the other room, as well as the ottoman. And of course, a second nightstand with the lamp and the plugs there. And just to let you guys see these other pictures, we've got Donald giving Daisy a sunflower and then Pluto out for a swim. And then there's that statue from Saratoga Springs, which you may recognize looks a little bit like the one up at the front of Saratoga Springs Resort. There's just has the, uh, that blanket that has the DVC logo on it. Then they have these really cool ceiling fans too. Can't forget about those. That has a dimmable light and these ceiling fans just look really kind of futuristic. I'm not sure that it really fits with the whole horse theme in here, but they do look really cool. So I'm not gonna hold that against them. So that's gonna wrap it up for the tour here of this two bedroom villa, brand new remodeled room here at Saratoga Springs Resort. Thanks for watching that room tour. And if you liked it, be sure to give us a thumbs up down below. If you have any comments or questions, you can drop them in the comment section and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, including the other remodeled rooms here at Saratoga Springs, be sure to check out our channel and subscribe and you'll see all those when they come out. Yeah, and for even more information about Walt Disney World and the Walt Disney World Resorts, be sure to go to herewiththeears.com. We've got so much information on there that will help you. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time. We're here with the ears.